Hi there and welcome back to this video. In the last video, I showed you how to set up child name servers. So with child or personal name servers, you can use your own domain as your name servers. So in this video, let's talk about Cloudflare and we're going to see how to use Cloudflare to handle all your DNS records. So with this, you don't have to use your server. So before you even get into that, the first thing I want to say is that I have found that for better mail delivery, you should probably use your own child name servers. If you want better mail delivery with cyber panel, you should definitely use your own child name servers. But if it's your own website that you're running and you're not sending mail to other people, maybe you're not running an e-commerce website whereby you have to send various confirmation emails to other people, you should just use Cloudflare. This is how you're going to do it using Cloudflare if you want to use it for DNS records. So if you don't have a Cloudflare account, just come in here and sign up. Once you sign up, you'll, you'll need to add a website and I'm just going to do a quick sample to show you how to add a website on Cloudflare. So if I come back here, you can see I, I already have my website added, but if yours is not added yet, what you'll need to do is you'll come here. You can just click anywhere. I'm sure the first thing they'll show you when you, when you sign up is add a website. So let's say I want to add a website and I'll just add a sample website here. So first I will click add a website and it's going to check if this website is, is a registered domain. If it is not registered, then it's going to tell you. So make sure you add a registered website already. So the moment you choose that, you're going to choose a plan. Just click there on the free plan and then come here on confirm plan. Then it's going to scan the internet just to check if the domain you're adding already has DNS records. So if it's got any DNS records, it's going to show them here and you can import them. So I can just click continue. So the next step is for you to come here and you're going to copy these records. And for this, you can use any domain provider. So you don't need any special domain provider. You just need to change the name servers. Wherever your domain is bought, wherever your domain currently is, you need to change the name servers to these ones so that it can allow Cloudflare to handle all your DNS burden. So if I go into wherever my domain is, so here I'll just come here under name servers and I can paste in the new domain name servers. So I'm going to paste in the domains here that have been given by Cloudflare. And then I will update my domain, my name servers. As soon as I do that, everything now is being handled using Cloudflare. So if I go to that domain, now you're going to see that my domain, which is already added, I can go here under DNS. And once I get here, Let's see the records. You can see I can change the IP. I'll need to change if I want it right now. If you go to that website, it's probably going to give me an error because my DNS records have been changed. So this is all loading from the cache. This is loading from the cache of the internet. Let's see if I use a private window, if everything is going to be different. Originally, that domain redirects to this website. So it's using the default behavior because I have changed the DNS records. In the last video you saw, when I reloaded, it was going into my server. This is all loading from the cache. So what I need to do at this point is I need to guide Cloudflare. So I will come here and I will copy my IP address, the IP address for my server and I need to put that in there. Now, one thing I really love with Cloudflare is that these changes are very instantaneous. It's like the moment you make a change, the change is going to get reflected instantly. So I will paste in the new IP and then I will save. And then I will come back here, paste in this, and then I will save that. And uh, let me just, there's something, uh, there's a change that I think I did on my Cloudflare and I will need to undo that. But first, oh, let me go into this domain. If it's not taking us to our server, okay? So I know why this is happening. This is happening. Let's just confirm if that's the case. What? 
yeah, under page rules, I think I redirected that domain to my website. Yes, I do have a forwarder and I need to, I need to disable this one. So this is a forwarder that redirects that domain to my website. And you can see that's a really nice feature there on Cloudflare. The moment I disable that and I reload, I should be able to get my server here. My, I should be able to get my server. It's probably still giving me results from the cache. But one thing I know now is that the issue is not being caused. Now, you know your server is not going to give you lots of issues like mine. For me, I did a different tutorial in the last video. And I also had it, I also had this redirect. So for you, everything's going to work fine. It's a very simple process, actually. The moment you come in here under DNS, you bring in your website and then you add in the various records. Now, where are these records? The moment I go into, the moment I come here under websites, there's a website that I created that has all the DNS records. If I come here under website, no, if I come here under DNS and I list add or delete DNS records, you need to choose a domain and we already have that domain added. So you can see the, the domain records are already here. So what you'll need to do the only thing you'll need to do is just copy these domains into cloudflare okay that you need to copy into cloudflare this this you don't need to copy into cloudflare because we are not using we are not using our name server anymore so i can delete these ones even this one i can delete i'm not using that for my i'm not using my server for my domain records and i did that in the last video if you're not following along just make sure you watch that last video so I already have, I don't, okay. So instead of creating an A record for WW, I think it creates, it creates the WW record as a CNAME record. So if I come here, you can see that I have WW as an A record. So that means you do, you won't really need to add the WW CNAME, but you can add all these others, all right? So as I said, if you want your mail delivery to be good, you should probably just use your child name servers. So at this point, everything should just be in order. And let's try and open this in new private window. Let's just see if there's any change so far. And you can see once we give it time, you can see that now it's redirecting correctly to our server. So just in brief, because the video has been a little bit convoluted. So what you need to do to set up Cloudflare for your Cloudflare to use Cloudflare. Number one, add your domain to Cloudflare, right? Once you add your domain on Cloudflare, take the DNS records that Cloudflare gives you, and then you take those into wherever your domain is hosted and use those as your name servers, okay? Name server one is there, name server two is there. If there are any other name servers on your domain, delete all of them. Just use this, all right? So that's the first step. Now, the last and most important step that will ensure that your website is loaded is add the records. So if you come here and I modify records and you choose the correct website, you can add your A records, just copy them, all right? Paste and copy them in there. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to, there's no way for me to export these records. But if there was in Cloudflare, there's actually a way for you to import records. Advanced, I think it's here under advanced. You can import DNS records on Cloudflare. So unfortunately, there is no way for us to export all these records. However, you can still add them manually. If you want to add your MX records, just come in here and copy this. Copy. And come back to Cloudflare. And you want to add, you want to add a rec you want to add a record. And we will add MX record that you copied. And if you're using your own domain, you can just use at. So this is like your own domain. So instead of typing JavaScript bear, just add at and that's going to replace it with that. So mail server, paste in the one that you got from the other side and priority, we can do that at 10. Save. And the domain will be added in there. So just do that for all your domain records. Just copy them and paste them inside of Cloudflare. And that's all you need to do to use Cloudflare as your DNS provider. That is, if you don't want to burden 
If you don't want to burden your server with the DNS lookups, then you can use Cloudflare for that purpose. So in this video, you have seen how you can use Cloudflare for your DNS burden. So instead of using your server for all your DNS records, you can use Cloudflare. So make sure you copy all of this, all right? So some there are some that are very important, very, very important here, like the TXT records. Make sure you copy this and add them on Cloudflare because some of this work with mail. You need to add them on your on your DNS provider, which is Cloudflare. Make sure you add all of that here because it's going to help improve deliverability of your email. And if it doesn't, then you should probably consider going back to using child name servers. And if you want to know how to do that, in the last video, I did a step-by-step -step video of how to get your child or personal or private name servers to work. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know. I will see you next time. And next time what I want us to do is, let's just see how we can add WordPress into this. So we're going to see if you want to install WordPress or if you just want to add and bring in your own WordPress. So I'll see you in that next video.